we, we moved to Florida and um, needed local medical care. So we arranged an executive physical at uh, uh, Mayo Clinic. At the time, I suggested that maybe both of us should go through the, the process. And she said, oh no, we don't need to do that. And I said, well, just humor me. On the morning of the second day, uh, they had found during the physical a, uh, a tumor. That's when we saw Mayo uh, operate at its best. I got the call that it was malignant, and uh, one of the nurses um, stayed on the phone with me when I was hysterical, helping me just to get through um, my hysteria. They, they had one vision in mind, and that's to make her better. I remember that we were walking on the beach one day, and Dan said to me, we need to do something to thank Mayo for the good care that you've, that you've gotten. And he said, well, what would we give it for? And, and I thought, well, we want to give it to breast cancer, of course. It's, it's kind of uh, uh, analogous to, to the experience that you have as a patient with Mayo, that it's very personalized, that it's all about you. And so therefore, the research should be individualized. If our daughter or our granddaughters were to get cancer, hopefully, it could be cured immediately and there would not be this, this thing hanging over them that at any time it could come back. We are just very lucky. Whether you give $10 or $10,000, it's really important to further the research. Without people wanting to pay back, there, there will be no research. We can't take it with us. So we'd much rather have the, uh, the, the staff that we've gotten to know and love at uh, Mayo uh, to take it and do something with it uh, that'll be uh, helpful to our next generations uh, as well as to, to other people that need it.